I'm about to show you how to connect a Sony PSVR2 to a PC so that you can play VR games on Steam. Before we move on, there are some requirements that you need to be aware of. Your PC needs to have Bluetooth capability and it needs to be Bluetooth version 4.0 or greater. If you're unsure of the version that you have, go to the search bar and search on device manager, open it, click Bluetooth, It'll list a bunch of Bluetooth devices. You need to find the one that runs everything and right click it. My motherboard has Bluetooth built in and it's called Intel Wireless Bluetooth. If you have a dongle, look for the word adapter or something like that. Once you've right clicked it, select properties and go to the advanced tab. Look at the numbers beside LMP, as long as the LMP number is 6.0 or above, you are good, because that means you have Bluetooth 4.0 at least. If your PC doesn't have Bluetooth, or the Bluetooth that it has is not a high enough version, you can purchase a dongle that plugs into a USB type A port, but apparently the PSVR 2 doesn't work well with all dongles, but Sony does have two that it recommends. I'll put a link to both of them in the description. The Asus one is said to be the better of the two. The TP-Link one has been problematic for some people, so much so that Sony has a specific driver for it. I'll put a link to Sony's page that has that driver in the description. The next requirement depends on your PC setup. Look at the back of your graphics card and look for a USB type C port. It's a tiny little port. If you don't have one there, then you will require additional things for your PSVR2 to work. One is a PlayStation VR2 adapter. Another is a DisplayPort cord, and you will need to have a PC that actually has a DisplayPort port. According to Reddit, a mini DisplayPort port will work as well. You would just need to have a DisplayPort cord with a regular size connector on one end and a mini connector on the other. Also, in order to do all that DisplayPort stuff, you need to have a computer that supports DisplayPort 1.4 or above. So just do some research on the specs of your own computer. If you don't have a DisplayPort port, there are adapters like this one that allows you to plug a DisplayPort cable into a USB 3.0 port. Some people are able to play the PSVR2 just fine with one of those adapters, but others are not. The reasoning is complicated, but basically it depends on how your PC is configured. So do research on your own PC before buying that adapter. There are also DisplayPort to HDMI adapters, but the consensus is that those will not work for PSVR 2. If your graphics card does have that USB Type-C port on the back of it, you may not have to have the PlayStation VR 2 adapter and DisplayPort cable. The best way to confirm that is to follow the rest of the instructions in this video and see if you can get the PSVR 2 up and running. If it doesn't work, go out and get the adapter and the DisplayPort cable. Also make sure you charge the two controllers before proceeding. Not doing so can cause issues during the setup process. If you don't have a dedicated charger, they can be charged with any cord that has a USB-C connector on the end. One of those is included in the PSVR2 box. You can just plug it into the port right here on the back. When it's charging, it'll show a white light here that slowly fades in and out. Once it's fully charged, the light won't show at all. The last requirement is rather obvious. You would need to have Steam downloaded and an account created. With all that out of the way, we are ready to begin the process. First, you need to locate two different applications within Steam. One is called Steam VR, and the other is called PlayStation VR 2 app. Download and install both of them. They're both free, but do not launch them yet. Then you need to attach the headphones to the headset, if you haven't already. On the headphones, you'll notice a pointy connector sticking out of them. Stick that connector into this hole on the bottom of the headset. 
There is a small nub on the other end that you need to push into the other hole. You'll have these earphones dangling off the edge. Go ahead and plug those into the placement holes on each side. By the way, if you're touching the headset during this process, try not to touch the two lenses that are inside. You'll end up getting them dirty if you do. Next, you need to pair both controllers to your PC's Bluetooth. Search the word Bluetooth on your computer and open up Bluetooth and other devices. I'm using Windows 11. It might be a little bit different if you're on Windows 10. Click Add Device and click on Bluetooth. Then pick up one of the controllers and hold down both the PlayStation button and this button here for just one second. It'll start to blink. Your computer will eventually detect it. For me, it didn't detect it at first. I kept going back out and saying add device and hitting the two buttons again. Eventually after two minutes of doing that, it detected it. Maybe it was downloading a driver in the background or something, but keep on trying and you'll eventually get it hopefully. So once it detects it, click on the name of it. It's called a sense controller. It'll complete the pairing process, then do the same process for the other controller. If you're still having problems with this step, I'm gonna put a couple of additional tips that I found on the screen right here. Feel free to pause and read those. Now that they are paired, if you come back and play VR some other day, you can turn the controllers on by hitting the PlayStation button on them, just one single press. The light on the back will turn on and the turn it back off, you hold the PlayStation button down for 10 seconds and the light will go off. Next, if you are using the PlayStation VR adapter, plug the end of the cord that's coming out of it into a USB-C 3.0 port on your computer. Then take the DisplayPort cable and connect one end of it to this port on the back of the adapter and the other end into the DisplayPort port on your PC. Assemble the power supply that came with the PlayStation VR adapter and plug one end into the wall, duh, and the other end into this port on the back of the adapter. Then take the cord that is coming from your headset and plug it into this port on the front of your adapter. If you're not using the adapter, plug that cord instead into the USB-C port that's on the back of your graphics card. You'll notice a red light on the front of the headset. That means it's turned off, but now you need to turn it on by holding down this power button for one second. The light will turn white and you'll feel it vibrate. Later on when you need to turn it off, just hit that button again. With it on, launch the PlayStation VR 2 app in Steam. Now your PC is going to guide you through the rest of the process, so you do not need me anymore. Just do what it says and you'll be ready to roll. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and have a great day.